So you left the ABC in Hobart, went to work for Viz News, the international film organisation in Singapore. Yes, well, even though I was based in Singapore, I spent very little time there. In fact, the first story I covered was in Borneo, Malaysian Borneo, where the newly formed state of Malaysia was being confronted by Indonesia under President Sukarno. Uh, it was called confrontation, but uh, of course it was a war, a mini war. And I uh, went with British and Malaysian troops. There were a few Australians there too. Uh, and Gurkha troops who were attached to the British, of course. The Gurkhas had a rather good reputation, didn't they? Very good reputation, well-deserved reputation. Maybe they're the best uh, uh, in retrospect. I think they're probably the best soldiers I was ever with, with some reservation. Uh, that is, they were uh, very, very efficient, very, very professional, carried out orders. Uh, they were the complete 100% professional. The only reservations I had was that they were rather inflexible, and that I saw happen uh, once where they uh, uh, went into action and carried out the orders of their commander, but the commander was killed. And before his successor uh, in the battlefield could uh, countermand his order to carry out the attack in a different way, several of the Gurkhas had been killed. So the, there is that inflexibility, but they're very fine soldiers. There was an incident where the Indonesian soldiers had a machine gun post. Well, right? right, they had a machine gun post in, in uh, rocky, hilly country, uh, very well protected. The only way was to um, climb around. They had to be somewhat uh, rock climbers, some quite good rock climbers. Uh, and the Gurkhas can do just about anything that's pulled on them to do. And uh, they did this, and uh, that was an occasion where they, I think they lost five dead, simply as, uh, because the Indonesians were picking them off the rock face. Uh, when they actually stormed the... Well, eventually they stormed the place and uh, killed them without firing a shot, if I remember rightly. They killed them with their kukri, that's this wide-bladed knife about that long, um, which is an inverted sort of knife, it's concave and they can do a lot of damages. It's razor sharp and they can hook a man's head off or his arm. I, I believe that they can't, there's something attached to them too. Well, there's the tradition that you don't draw the kukri unless you draw blood. So that is, if you ask a, uh, a Gurkha to show his kukri, he'll do it willingly, pull it straight out. But then it sort of startles you a little because before he put it back, he'll nick his thumb or nick his uh, arm somewhere and draw blood. And uh, 